In this video, we're going to update the BIOS to the Gigabyte B set B460M DS3H. So, up in your search bar, type in Gigabyte B460M DS3H, hit enter, and then right here is the uh, the link that we want. Now, when we come in here, we want to click on this support here, not the one up here, all right, but this one. And we know that our computer has a F2 BIOS, so it's even before uh, what's shown here. We want to grab the most up to date, so that would be F5. And this is all cumulative. Now, notice, of course, uh, as we download that, let's go back. CPU support. This thing only supports 10th gen, right? So none of the 11th gen CPUs will work with this. All right, so next you want to go to your downloads. That's where that file should end up. And we want to extract all. And then we're just going to copy this file over to our thumb drive, all right? Now this needs to be in the root directory. And just so you know, click on properties. This one is formatted to FAT32, all right? And it's also USB 2.0. So we got our file ready. Let's go ahead and take this over to the computer. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, put this in one of our slots. And you know, if you happen to upgrade to uh, 12th gen, you'll find that there's a way to update the BIOS with the newer ones where you don't actually need to have a CPU, RAM, or a graphics card installed, right? All right, folks, so uh, to get into the BIOS, uh, delete F2 as it boots up. And if that doesn't work, uh, pull your uh, drive out that has your operating system on. It should go right to the BIOS. Now, easy, we want to do this in easy mode, though it can be done in advanced mode. Come over here, click on Q Flash or hit F8. And then click here for update BIOS. And then grab that file right there. Click that. Are you sure you want to update? Now, before we do that, folks, let's make sure that it's not uh, bad weather outside, right? If we have bad weather, this could turn out to be a mistake, all right? So uh, if the power goes out, you could brick your motherboard, and that would be a huge negative, all right? So just make sure no thunderstorms, no snowstorms, blizzards, hurricanes, tornadoes, all right? If everything looks good, go ahead and click yes. And verifies the file. It says press start. Press to start down here. And a lot of precautions here before we get this going, all right? So it's gonna up, it's gonna reboot and eventually end up inside of the, uh, the BIOS doing its uh, update. I'm amazed. I've had this motherboard for, it looks like three years now, and I never did a BIOS update on it. Or if I did, I haven't done it since April 8th, 2020. And that was right before I went to Hawaii for six months. Those were the days. I was living large, folks. So this will just take a little bit of time. So when I do these videos, folks, I try not to uh, edit 
Uh, I want you guys to see exactly how long this takes. Even though in this case there was a slight edit as I went from the downloaded video or downloaded file onto the USB to the uh, the computer out here in this this other work area. So it's at the 60% mark. And what does that mean? We are 60% of the way done, right? Now, one of the reasons for updating this uh, BIOS, I'm going to, uh, I'm actually going to sell this motherboard. And I wanted to make sure everything was uh, working good. So we also did an installation video with it. I have not used this motherboard, I would say, in at least a couple years. So um, there you can see over here. F5 BIOS update and it should reboot go right back into BIOS we don't have a drive on here sometimes reboots a couple times In this case, maybe three times. Maybe a fourth time. And hopefully this is the one that gets it up and it stays up. And there you go, folks. CF5. There's our Celeron G5900. And it's up and running now. A lot of times, folks, uh, XMP would have to be re-enabled after BIOS update. And if I had drives on here, you might find the uh, sequence or the boot priority has changed. So you would need to change those. That's going to do it for this video, folks. Thanks for checking out. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.